Hi everyone. Uh, this is uh, part two of the rope swing, and today uh, we'll mainly deal with uh, the lateral view or the down down the line view, and then I'll uh, try to swing the rope uh, uh, in this direction. You will see that my hands are going a bit higher uh, because this is uh, what I usually do. But I'll try to uh, intentionally lower my hands a little bit this time. So you can have uh, you know, uh, different hand positions. But what's common in these is that you should have uh, sufficient uh, shoulder turns. If you don't have enough shoulder turns, then you have to uh, pull the arms down uh, in the downstream. But when you have uh, sufficient shoulder turns, then it's easy to uh, just to bring the club uh, down toward the ball. So from the top to impact, you don't have uh, much surprise because um, you, know, you establish this good uh, swing plane here and then simply uh, let the club go uh, in the downswing uh, toward the impact. As I mentioned uh, in uh, episode one, the two main purposes of the rope swing is um, first uh, to establish the swing plane, and then second uh, to find the right timing of the uh, transition. So in order to uh, um, fulfill uh, these uh, purposes, then uh, first forget about that you are doing a. Uh, golf swing, but rather you are simply uh, swinging the rope back and forth with the active uh, body motion. So maintain this rhythmic, uh, rhythmical motion back and forth, and then try to uh, you know, turn the shoulders as much as possible or sufficiently, and that that's all you need to uh, pay attention to. And then uh, during the swing, basically you, you are using the momentum of the body to reach this position here. So it'll be easier uh, than just to try to reach that position okay, in a slow motion. So when you have this a ballistic, almost a ballistic and continuous rhythmic motion, it's easy to uh, develop sufficient uh, shoulder turn. So um, again, uh, simply uh, the main uh, goal uh, here is to uh, swing the rope uh, rigorously back and forth and then reach a reasonable uh, top position. Okay. And in, uh, in, in the process, you have to uh, secure this uh, consistent uh, swing play. Just use your body and then swing. Do not try to uh, do a golf swing here. Your goal is to just to swing the rope back and forth and then establish the swing plane and then time the, uh, the transition right. Uh, when I work with the golfers, um, basically I call it uh, a reprogramming uh, session. So in other words, um, you know, I'm trying to reprogram the swing pattern of the golfer. Uh, as a biomechanist, I'm not really teaching uh, you know, uh, golf, but rather I, I'm uh, trying to teach uh, you know, a better way to move the body. So uh, back to uh, the rope swing. When you can generate this a consistent uh, swing plane uh, with the active uh, back and forth uh, motion here, then from the top to the impact, you don't expect much surprise because uh, you can now generate this a continuous motion without even thinking. Using the momentum of the body, you are carrying everything to uh, this position and then you reverse, simply reverse the direction and they bring everything down. So in this process, from here to here, you don't have to use your arms that much. So uh, your downswing will be fairly straightforward. So you don't expect uh, much uh, surprise from here to here. So that's why when you can uh, sk uh, skillfully um, produce this uh, consistent swing plane, then the impact also improves. In summary, uh, when you do the rope swing, your primary uh, goal should be uh, uh, you know, to develop uh, this uh, continuous motion back and forth while uh, you know, uh, uh, finding a reasonable swing plane and also uh, uh, 
the, uh, the right timing of the transition. Okay, you can be uh, really rigorous. Uh, so all you need to pay attention to is uh, swinging the heart with the shoulder turn, not uh, using the arms a lot. And then once you uh, uh, reach that level, then you can start using your club and then try to create a similar uh, body motion, first of all. And then certainly uh, later you can add uh, your wrist action to uh, increase the, the club speed. But uh, once, the, once you develop good uh, body motion, uh, with this uh, continuous uh, repetition of the uh, back and forth motion here, then pretty much 95% of the work is already done. And then you just need to add uh, that 5% of controlling the uh, wrist motion and so on. So uh, th this is the whole idea about the uh, uh, rope swing. Thank you.